How about Juju Smith-Schuster? Jamie, you can have the first word on this one going to the Kansas City Chiefs. What do you think? Uh, this was not the, the best landing spot for his fantasy value. It's clearly a best chance for him to, uh, you know, get a ring. Um, but it's, uh, you know, it's going to be interesting. They, they haven't had a player, I think, of his of his caliber in, in that spot. Um, you know, we've, we've been hoping for Miko Hardman. We thought, okay, maybe Josh Gordon can reinvent himself. No. Um, Byron Pringle, no. Um, you know, Demarcus Robinson, no. You know, so... He'll take away from Tyree Kill and Travis Kelsey a little bit, but I think Juju, you know, you're hoping that he can rejuvenate himself and still be a, a significant playmaker. I just don't know if those things are going to go hand in hand. Um, you know, I think he'll he'll obviously make a lot of plays for Patrick Mahomes, and you know, man, that AFC West is. <laughs> I don't I don't want to watch anything else. I just want to watch the AFC West all, all season next year. Um, yeah, so he's he's a number four fantasy receiver. I don't think you can you know rank him higher than that. Yeah, well, the biggest winner in all of this, just from the start, from Wilson getting traded out, is any any person who is a fan of an NFC team. I just, you now, like, this is like being a fan of the Eastern Conference of the NBA ten years ago, whatever. When all the good why do you think Tom Brady came back? Yeah, I guess so. That yeah, was like, to the Super Bowl. Brady and Rogers, the NFC Championship, just pencil it in. Uh, it's so, also, it's not, it's not just that; but it, it's the Bills too. I mean, they get to sit back and watch the, that vision just cannibalize itself. Oh yeah, and it, it's like what the Patriots did for twenty years. I mean, you know, they just win the AFC East and they watch everybody else beat themselves up. They get home field advantage, and then you see if somebody can go in there and, and knock you off. You know, so Buffalo's in a good spot too. Dave, Juju Smith-Schuster or Allen Robinson? I think I'm going to lean toward Robinson. Okay, this take- is under the assumption that Robinson's going to be a full-time player for the Rams. And- Hold on, Heath. Before you get in there, I got to take a break. We got to take a real quick break on fantasy football today. Heath is bursting at the seams. <laughs> He'll get away in when we come back on FFT. We are back. Okay, Heath. Ju- I asked Juju or Allen Robinson. You've got a lot on your mind. No, I just I'm going to be way too emotionally invested in Juju succeeding in Kansas City for a variety of reasons. But I do think that you can very easily azer stat this and mm-hmm. say that we've seen two seasons of Juju with a future Hall of Fame wide receiver on the other side, and he's an elite second wide receiver. He should be right back to what he was the first two years of his career now. Nobody can cover him. And he had a Hall of Fame quarterback. At the same time, right? I mean, Roethlisberger was good back then. Roethlisberger led the league in passing when Juju had his 1,400-yard season. So what do you think the upside is for him? I mean, if Kelsey and Hill both stay healthy, then the upside's probably like a high-end number three wide receiver, a borderline number two. It's it's yeah. not – It's unfortunately, it's not like super-duper high. But if something yeah. happens to either of them. Yeah. Sure. Well, that makes sense. Just like if something were to happen to Cooper Cup. Allen Robinson would be in play to get a lot of work too. I, I feel like they're both low end number three receivers. The, the Robinson question, though, there, there's clearly another domino that's going to happen, whether it's Beckham coming or Woods going or both. You know, so Robinson, to me, I'd take Robinson over Juju, but I, I think he is, is right in one aspect. The other part of it would be is that there were two guys that he's got to contend with in Kansas City. You know, there, right. there really wasn't, you know, two guys in Pittsburgh. Now, right. you know, you had young Deontay Johnson. I don't remember exactly when his. I think he might have been a rookie when Roth was. Yeah, but like he injured. was like the three then. If what what I'm saying is, you know, he, he's clearly yeah. a talented player that that's emerged, but he wasn't at the level of what, what Kelsey and, and Hill are comparatively to Antonio Brown. So uh I you know, I, I think the one thing when you look at this, this AFC West in the the games where they'll play against each other, if we get what we're hoping for is games in the forties, you know, as much as you know, you bring in a JC Jackson, a Khalil Mack, a Chandler Jones, you know, all these guys that, that are gonna, you know, try and stop these offenses, you know, if we're getting games that are, you know in the thirties, you know, may, maybe more then they're all going to have the chance to put up good numbers. And then that carries over to other games when they're not playing against each other. So, you know, you want to have pieces of this division You to have pieces, obviously of Patrick Mahomes and, and Andy Reed. Uh, you have to hope that Andy Reed is going to sort of reinvent the wheel again, you know, with uh, bringing in a player of this caliber, because as we've noted time and time again with Juju, it feels like he's 40, but he's only in his early twenties still, you know, because he's been around so long. Um, if he can run again, you know, coming off a shoulder injury, I don't think should be too much of a concern and kind of can get away from being this just short area target and do some different things down the field. Then he's going to be a, a steal on draft day. Um, I, this probably means nothing, but Antonio Brown did just tweet Cleveland Antonio Browns. <laughs> uh, so, uh, let me let me ask you this. Would you rather have it's a good tweet? Would you rather have Patrick Mahomes and Amari Cooper? Or Deshaun Watson and Tyreek Hill. I think I'd rather have Deshaun Watson and, and Hill. Tyreek, if there's no suspension. 
Well, for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no suspension. No suspension. Yeah, I'm, I'm not thinking about the suspension. Okay, and do you think Hel- Kel- uh, Kelsey or Hill lose any value with this Juju signing? Slightly. The only thing, and you talked about this, when they took away the deep ball from the Chiefs, Tyreek last year was a completely different kind of wide receiver, a lot more underneath stuff, a lot more targets. If the plan with Juju, you would think, is to handle the short area stuff and they're going to send Tyreek deep and teams just don't give them that, then it could be it could make Tyreek a little more boom bust. 